can't afford it. I can't afford it. I guess we better. I still do got that. one in college. <laughs> I, I, I guess we better do some cooking. Yeah. Hey, friends, welcome to Positively Paula. I've got such a wonderful treat for y'all today. I don't know how I rated him or deserved him to be here, but I am so happy. Uh, he's always been one of my top action uh, actors. He's an Emmy. Is it Emmy? Emmy or and Golden Globe both, yeah. Indy, in, Emmy and Golden Globe. Emmy and Golden Globe. Mr. Tom Barringer, y'all. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> I'm Thanks. so glad you're here. Um, I was gonna say something that it was probably gonna be wrong uh, since I've already forgot what I was gonna say. But uh, you actually live here in Hilton Head now, don't you? Yeah, I'm in uh, across the river in South Carolina, and it's uh, on the mainland. It's not uh -huh. not exactly on Hilton Head, uh -huh. but the same county. Uh, Buford County, and um, I just, I'm right close to 170, and I just zip down and go straight downtown Savannah. That's 30 great. minutes. And you live over there with your wife. Yes. A beautiful wife. You Thank know. you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want no ugly women in your life, do you? <laughs> Well, I have a lot of beautiful daughters, too. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah, now, how yeah. many children do you have? I have um, six children and one stepdaughter. Seven children? Yeah. Whoa, way to go, boy. <laughs> <laughs> One boy. And then, of course, they all love him. He's six the, foot The two. boy's yeah. yours. Yes, he he's mine. He came from your lawn. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and he's six He's six foot two, and, oh and he, he looks like Is a, he as good looking as his he, dad? He's better. And he's... Better? Uh, yeah, he's better. And he's um, he looks like a, well, I wouldn't say a middle linebacker, maybe in a college, but kind of an outside linebacker. Like, he's in great shape. Easy. Yeah. So, Tom, I do have you here for a reason, because I wanted to cook for you. And do you cook? Do you no, enjoy I don't. cooking, I grilling? Don't. No, but my wife is Italian. Oh. And and her mom lives next door is, Italian, is from Italy, from her Venice. Her mama lives next door to y'all yeah. in Hilton Head. Uh, in Bluffton, yeah. In Bluffton. And now, how does that work out for you? Fine. She's got her own little unit over there, uh -huh. and she's you respect. She's a lot of friends, because there's a lot of older folks. She just turned 85. And she has a little, she calls it the group. Yeah, the, group. the group, right? <laughs> and they, they meet for dinner and stuff. You know, I said, I feel like that Italians and Southerners have so much in common. You know, we eat a lot, we're loud, uh, <laughs> we're good cooks. Uh, we love our families. Mm -hmm. So I think, I think there's a lot, mm -hmm. a lot of things that are- There's similarities, you're right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they just talk with an accent, and we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that right? So, Tom, I'm prepping for our Brussels sprouts. Oh, yeah. And we're going to have to take a quick break, but I'm going to show you the easiest way in the world to deep fry bacon. Oh, OK. OK? All right, yeah. <laughs> I know y'all wish we were, you wish you were me today, girls, with this good looking man in my kitchen. The only thing is, is his wife's on the other end of the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back in a minute. <laughs> oh, thank you, Tom. Thank you. Okay, Tom, I've got our Brussels sprouts going. I'm just trying to get them a little bit done, but I, I told you that I was going to show you how to cook the fastest bacon in the whole entire world. I could fry bacon for a crowd of 30 in like five minutes. Uh huh. It's unbelievable. Now, I cut this up because it's going to go in with our Brussels sprouts, but I'm going to par cook it just a minute, mm -hmm. not long, because I want some of that fat to still be left in this bacon mm -hmm. to, to marry up with our Brussels sprouts. So, come look. Come look at the way it's frying. Five minutes? Oh, it won't It won't take five minutes. And I'm just gonna kind of par cook this, uh -huh. just like that. Yeah, yeah, a little pink. Because I want that bacon to um, still have some fat in it. Uh, these, by the way, are my favorite vegetables. Brussels sprouts! Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like those. I yeah. love them, too. To me, it tastes just what it looks like. Uh, little cabbages. Little cabbages. 
Mmm, this is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm, I'm about to get mixed up. I think I'm gonna put the onions in here and I got shallots. I'll put that in our potatoes, our scallop potatoes. How's that? Do you like onion? Please oh, yeah. tell yeah. me you no, like I onion. Oh, I do, I do. Yeah, onions okay. and shallots both. Okay, yeah. good. So. Do you like the honors of doing the butt shot? <laughs> or here, let's cheat. Pick, put it over here? On Let, the, no, we're going to put it in the oh, oven, put it in the baby. Oven. Okay. Bottom shelf. There. Better you than me. Your butt doesn't look that bad. There isn't much of one. <laughs> Mine either. Mine's flat and wide. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. All right, so I was asking you, I want, I've got so much I want to ask you. All right, our potatoes are cooking. We're gonna par cook our potatoes until they're almost done, Tom. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite movie that you've ever done? And I'll tell you mine. Well, um, I, yeah, I get that question, but I bet you've been asking it a thousand times. A long times. time ago, that might have been easier, but it's now over forty years, and you go, yeah. oh, well, this and. I kind of think of all these different jobs as like kids, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and you go, which one is your favorite? Yeah. Kind of hard to answer. You know, I hear you. That's my the answer I give. And I like. How do you I, say I, which kids your favorite? Yeah, I like different ones for different uh, reasons. reasons. You know, it could have been yes. a great time. It could have been, um, well, I always wanted to do that type of thing, or it could have been a blue ribbon location, or uh -huh. it could have been. Right. Um, the greatest cast I ever worked with. Right. I could have, you know, I mean, yeah. so many different uh, elements involved. But I, I, I suppose I have to say Platoon because it was the one that skyrocketed and shot my career say. and many other careers too, like Forrest Whitaker and, 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 yeah. and Johnny Depp and, yeah. and Charlie Sheen and, yeah. you know, and, and all of so many of us, you know. Yeah. Well, we got to take another break and I still got so many questions. Uh, and we'll get right back on them in a minute. <laughs> do you want to know what I'm making you? <laughs> I, I do. Uh, scallop potatoes. Uh, yes, yeah. scallop potatoes. And I've got your Brussels sprouts uh -huh. in the oven. And I'm probably soon going to have to take those out because they're going to be ready. And then I'm going to cook you a flank steak. Mmm. So I hope it all turns out good. Yeah, I like those. I all like right, those. so I'm going to put half the potatoes here. And then I'm going to cover them with a cheddar and gruyere. Mm -hmm. Do you like gruyere? Yes. Mm. I love it. I've got some butter over here with our shallots. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put us some half and half in here, Tom. Now, I've got a little Wondra here. You know what I'm saying when I say that? No. Okay, it's that real, real fine flour that you can't screw up making gravy with. It won't be lumpy. Uh -huh. So normally, you couldn't do something like this. So we're just going to let that cook a minute. And let's see, where did I put our shallots? Oh, I, I heated those in here. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I am so involved in every word Tom's saying. <laughs> I might be forgetting an ingredient or two, <laughs> but that's all right. I don't want it too thin, but I certainly don't want it too thick. Tell me about the big chill. That's actually how I got down here. Okay. Oh, really? Because I worked here, I li lived in New York City. Mm -hmm. And I worked here on a big chill. It was autumn and winter, 82, 83, up until January. 1982 and 82. 82, 83, yeah. It was, it was like Thanksgiving, it's it was Christmas. That movie's that old. Mm -hmm. Well, I could sit here and ask you questions and listen to you talk all day. <laughs> but <laughs> then we would be Never eating a vegetarian, I know. <laughs> ve vegetarian meal, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll take a quick break, mm -hmm. and I'm going to cook some flank steak for you. Excellent. It's been so wonderful being in the kitchen with him, y'all.
You just set them right here, Tom. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've given you the dirty there? job. Yes, right there. How does that look to you? Oh, it's delicious. Yeah. Yeah. It smells good, too. All right, and I got the grill hot. I mean, it was piping hot a second ago, and we had to turn it down. I think, well, thank you. It's so nice to have a man around the house. <laughs> All right, we've got that turned off. Thank you, All thank right. you. Now I'm not mm -hmm. gonna ask you to lift anything heavier than your fork. I'm getting so close to feeding you. So I don't know if I talked about this or not. Tom said he thinks I did, but uh, we, Tom and I have a mutual friend. Uh, his name is Phil, and he made the introduction to Tom and me, and I'm so thankful that he did because you know, I have so many acquaintances, Tom, but I've always, since I've been living in Savannah, all I've done is work. So, you know, making friends has kind of been... Yeah, I, I get shelved a little sometimes. Yes, yeah. and I, I miss that because I think friends are one of the most important parts of one's life. You know, yeah, you can I, pick I, your friends. Yeah, and I, I it, it, it's sort of like, uh, my son asked me once, he goes, what's it like, what do you think? I go, I said, nobody ever asked me that, but I said, sometimes lonely. He goes, lonely? I went, yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. It, I go, think about it. If you're a band, you're with these guys all the time. So you maybe you almost go crazy. Yeah. You know, like a family. Yeah. But I said, but we, we, we could go five, six, seven, eight, 10 years, 12 years without seeing each other again or never again. For yeah. That yeah. Yeah. So I go. It's not, not what you think. Yeah. 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 I'm going to just flip this one this away, because you know the center part of your grill, Tom. Uh huh. There's really no light on that center. Now, how do you eat your meat? I forgot to ask you. Medium rare. Yes. <laughs> if you'd have said well done, I'd had to come over there and give you the old boot. I know. I'm on it. <laughs> I, my mother, my mother would do that and take her out to dinner, and she goes, "I want it well done," and she'd go, "Burnt." I'm going, "Oh." Mm -hmm. You know, I tell people if they're gonna do that to a good steak, just have a hamburger. I, I know. Have a hamburger. I, yeah, I, 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 but I would cringe. And, I know. And if it was a French chef, they'd probably come out and throw it at you. Oh, yeah. they would. <laughs> They would. Oh, they they refuse. Or they refuse. Ketchup. They would refuse. Yeah, they would refuse go to. Go in and ask a French chef yeah. for ketchup, ketchup and yeah. they will ask you to leave. Because they say. <laughs> you need to leave it on a little longer. Or yeah, I minute? think I might. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and see what this is doing. Okay. Nice. Yep. yep, that looks yeah, that pretty little, good. That you little wanna, red color? That's beautiful. Yeah, you want to taste that little piece that I just cut? And tell me what you think. Mm. Is it good? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Mm. You think I ought to take this up? Yes, I'll, I think so. I'll kind mm -hmm. of put it to the side yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, honey, we got it together. Oh, it's perfect. So you got the red center? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Am I cutting it enough on the bias, do you think? Oh, yeah. On a tougher piece of meat, y'all, you want to cut it against the grain. Because if I cut it this away, the way it looks like you'd like to cut it, because it's got those lines, it would be so tough that you couldn't eat it with George Washington's wooden teeth. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's why we're doing it this away. And I think that looks slap kadab perfect. In fact, I'm going to take this other one and get it off the grill and put it right there. Well, let me tell you what I got to go on top of this. I got a brown butter sauce. Just butter and garlic. More butter. <laughs> More, More butter. butter. <laughs> More butter. <laughs> Kinda had to remelt it, but here we go. Look at this. A little parsley in there? Yeah. Yep, a little parsley. It's butter, garlic, And that's it. Mm. Gosh, my eyes are watering, my mouth's watering, and my nose is running. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, why don't we bring Laura in? We've been talking about her. <laughs> We've been talking about her, and nobody has met her yet. Does she even exist? <laughs> <laughs> was it nice or bad? What was he hey, saying was about our, me? Our, our, our flattering I was stuff. saying how beautiful you are. Did he tell you yeah. this was our first date meal? Oh, it didn't. No. Yes. Men never our, remember, do our they? Our first, no. yeah, our first date. Um, we didn't know it was a date. Oh, you we did. It was kind up. of a blind date. I was going to say, so y'all was by set up. So by that's this why cop it's his meal, friend, right? this police it captain, was lucky. friend yeah, of ours, right? It was right? his lucky day. day. It was, yes, <laughs> and um, <laughs> and so did it's, y'all it's realize at, it, it's it's over at Hilton at the house of uh, these friends of ours. He's He's Brazilian and she's Belgian, mm-hmm. and um, and she says, well, "Why not? Like, you gonna come over?" She says, "We'll we'll do uh, Carlos's famous Trosca." I go, "I love that. I love that. It's perfect. It's great. I love that." Yeah. No. So that's what we had. All right. Now I want y'all to fix your plate. Uh-huh. Now y'all come over here and get your stuff. All right. <clears throat> These Brussels sprouts are some, so you? good. Isn't that funny? Gus has been so good today. He's, it's oh, yeah. the meat. Oh, yeah. The he meat. has been Here so go. good. And then as soon as we got the steak ready, guess who shows up? Yeah. Sit, buddy. He Sit. wants that protein. I put my ginger on a bed. I just want steak my mama. Yeah. Well, honey, that's the littlest plate I've ever seen. Like I said, later, darling. <laughs> yeah, that's she's, all right. She's so I'm delicate. I'm not a light eater. You are. Oh, no. I'm a heavy eater. I can eat like a man. Well, but I heard you can do tricks like a man, too. Oh, my gosh. Oh, uh, yep. as far as playing, what is that sport? Oh, racquetball. 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 Yeah. I told you about my racquetball. Thank you, Lord, for what we're about to receive. And thank you, Paula, for oh, cooking it up. Oh, no. Thank you all for coming. Mm. And that looks like, Laura, that piece might look like it has a... A little layer gristle. gristle. You right. might want to get you another piece. We eat that. Let's we eat the gristle these. in our house. <laughs> <laughs> I like y'all. We like gristle. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh no, the it's so tender. Did you get one of these? Is mm. it? Yeah. Mm. Mm. It is like mm. it is tender for for a tough piece of meat. Right? I mean, it is. Yeah. That's probably the only cut of meat I've never cooked. I don't cook them often. Oh, these are great. Mm. Like I said. And that looks amazing, and it tastes amazing, and it didn't seem that hard. Mm. And the brown butter is what makes it long. Mm-hmm. Nothing but butter, garlic, and parsley. Did you put butter on it before you even put it on Mm-mm. there? No, I put my house seasoning. You know, I have this seasoning that we call a house seasoning, because mm-hmm. it goes on everything in the restaurant, except our desserts and our biscuits mm-hmm. and hoe cakes. Is that this? Can I have a little? That's garlic. That's straight. Oh my gosh. That's straight garlic. Mm. Don't get close to anybody now the rest well, of the I'm day. I'm Italian. I smell like garlic Why all you? the time anyway. Oh, I bet. It's garlic, yeah. Look at this. Oh. You're talking about a real sport. <clears throat> I knew that I was going to like these two. Tom brought his Emmy. Is that an Emmy? Or That's an Emmy. Oscar. Mm-hmm. Emmy. 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 So naturally, you know, I'm competitive. Couldn't let him get away with that, so I had to pull out my Emmy. <laughs> well, I can't thank y'all enough, and thank you for having us. I hope y'all enjoyed our visit today. Oh, we, we loved it. It was with, great with <laughs> Tom and Laura. It's been so much fun. It's amazing how much you can learn about a person in just 30 minutes. But somehow I knew, I knew that we were gonna get along and like each other a whole bunch. So I hope y'all enjoyed our visit as much as I enjoyed my visit with them. And you know until next time, y'all, I always, always send you love and best dishes. You can buy the cheap cut of meat. Georgia.